inserting AdSense into Excite Pro. It's one of the easiest ways of monetizing your site's content. Google's famed pay-per-click advertising platform gives you the ability after signing up for your free account to add contextually relevant advertising to your site's pages. So that's adverts that automatically adapt to suit the content of your site's pages, maximizing the likelihood, of course, then that those ads are going to be clicked on by visitors. You can see some ads here over on the right hand side. These are Google AdSense ads being displayed for this page. And the great thing, of course, is that every time somebody clicks on one of those adverts, you're going to get paid. It's a neat model and can generate a small but steady stream of income as part of your overall monetization mix. Excite Pro makes adding AdSense to any of your websites really simple and straightforward. There's no need to log into the Google platform. There's no need to copy and paste code. This is all done for you by the Excite Pro software. So let me show you just how easy it is. So I'm going to start by just closing this browser and dropping into Excite Pro. And here we can see another nice looking template that I've used, one of the templates that come as standard with Excite Pro. And what I'm going to suggest here in this demonstration is that you consider inserting a Google AdSense block into one of your page layout panels. Now remember, these panels, they affect all of your website pages. They're a global design, if you like. So by inserting a Google AdSense block into one of your panels, I'm going to use my right panel in this demonstration, you effectively monetize every single one of your web pages. Why? Because when you publish your website, that global page layout design, including your Google AdSense, is going to be updated across all your web pages. It's a neat shortcut for monetizing all of your web page content. How do we do that? Well, over here on the right hand side, of course, I mentioned it's the right panel. So what we're interested in is using these right panel settings here on the left hand side to edit that right panel. So if I click the designer button here, you'll see that we now have a WYSIWYG editor with which we can edit the right panel content. And all I'm going to do is where I would like to insert my AdSense content, I'm going to right click with my mouse and from the powerful right click menu that appears, I'm going to drop down to the insert advertising menu and then from the sub menu that appears, I'm going to click the Google AdSense option. Now the Google AdSense tool appears and we can see a default suggestion for an advert. We have a whole range of Google AdSense panel sizes and advert dimensions that we can choose from. I'm going to go and select from the comprehensive list the wide skyscraper format as it fits my panel design best. I'm also going to just point out that there are a bunch of settings that you can change to help you blend your advertising content into your pages. Now, why is blending important? There's an argument that suggests that if the advertising content is closer to that of your page content generally, then you'll see a higher click through rate. Not trying to pass adverts off as page content per se, but just generally blending it in so it's, um, it's less obvious that it's uh, paid for advertising. So what we're going to do here, just to give an example of that, is I'm just going to lose this border by changing the border color to white against my white page background. So once I'm happy with my advert design, the text, colors, and so on, I'm going to click the OK button. And there we can see it. Google AdSense placeholder inserted into the web page for us, into the design. I click OK, and we return to the page layout design. And we can see there's our Google AdSense block. Now, if you're wondering why it's not displaying in the page layout design window, it's because it has to actually be published to a live website in order for us to actually see the adverts displayed. So let's go ahead and do that. All we need to do is head up here to this publish button, click publish. Excite Pro helpfully saves the website to make sure that all our changes are going to be published and then confirm that yes, we would like to publish the site now. Now, bear in mind, because we've made changes to the global page layout design, of course, that affects every single web page. That's why there are so many pages, 22 in this demonstration, being published right now. So each of our pages is being updated to now show Google AdSense over on the right hand side. Neat, right? So now once we've finished the publishing, that sound in the background there denoted the completion of the publishing process. We just click open website. This opens our live website that we've just published. And here on the right hand side, sure enough, here's our Google AdSense advertising as planned. So very simple to use, obviously, but what about inserting advertising into the actual page itself? We've seen how to insert it into the page layout so that it appears on every web page. But what if we want to actually interleave some advertising into this copy here? Let's just uh, close this browser and take a look again. Back into Excite Pro. Now what we're going to do, rather than editing our web page layout, we're going to go to the web pages tab and within the web pages tab here we have a, a web page that we've put together just as a sample so that we can insert some advertising into it 
I'm going to scroll to the bottom here. Again, all I'm going to do is position my mouse, right click where I want the advertising and select Google AdSense. This time, rather than having this skyscraper format, I'm going to choose a banner which fits the page dimensions appropriately. And let's just change the border color just to show how that works. You can see it even features the rounded corners, which is a, a newer feature in Google AdSense. Once we're happy, we click OK. And there again is our Google AdSense. Simple as that. We've inserted AdSense for a second time in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to publish the pages again, this time, of course, because we've only edited one page, we'll just see one or two files going up as opposed to all of the files of the website. And again, if we open our website, over here on the right hand side, of course, there's our Google AdSense in the right panel, but scrolling down, there's the advert that we just inserted nice and neatly. So to round off, using Excite Pro to insert AdSense content into your site pages, either all of your web pages or individual pages at a time, it's a really simple process. It just takes a couple of minutes. It's a great way to monetize your site content as part of your overall monetization mix. And I'm sure that when you get started using this tool, you're going to have a lot of fun.